Well, the rains have not let up as yet, and it's chicken business as usual. I'm still getting over a bad cold, but I am out here to take care of these chickens. So I did put some hay down because it would be really muddy out here. And what the chickens would do is be out here in the outdoor run and then get into the nest box and lay the eggs. But because I did put the hay down, the eggs are less messy. Even though you can still see some dirt on here. But just imagine I didn't put that hay down. And you don't have to use hay if you don't have it on hand. You can use whatever you have like dry leaves if you have access to it and that also can do the same job that the hay would do. So you don't have to actually go there and spend money to buy hay but because I always have hay on hand I decided to use the hay and the chickens could also eat the hay. And I use the alfalfa hay because of the higher protein content of all the grasses. Now I'm going to clean this all up because they're done running through this for the day and so because there's so much chicken droppings and with the moisture and the water from the rain i just want to gather this and turn it so that it will help the poop to break down that will prevent bacteria from harboring and growing and prevent the chickens from getting sick and it's currently raining you could probably hear it right now falling on the rooftop and the birds have already made it into their coop even though it's still light out each one finding their comfortable space on the roost and obviously the turkey is the boss because she is the biggest bird in here so she does whatever she wants she gets the chickens out the way she wants a certain spot look at her in action <laughs> doing the most but uh yeah these other birds here are just chilling in the corner and i guess solid on the spot that they want for the night and as you can see there is extra roost space in here for the birds this coop was designed for 30 birds and we only have 11 chickens and one turkey so there's more than enough roost space in here for all of these birds so i'm just here observing them in the coop now i don't do this every day but i do it often enough just to come in and observe them see what they're doing look at their behaviors make sure that any bad habits are not developing within the flock so i'm just going to take a close look especially at the turkey because she's such a bigger bird than the chickens that i have a lot of the chicken breeds that i have currently are smaller breeds so i'm just going to spend some time with them simply for the purposes of monitoring them and paying attention to their behaviors and making sure that they're being good birds. I do have a lot of experience with different breeds of chickens and their behaviors, but yet there's still so much to learn. And Miss Turkey is really showing herself tonight. Some of these chickens will want to be near her, especially the docile breeds like this Silver Lake and Velda here. She's like, nope. I'm out. She just simply got down off the roost because the turkey is getting in her way. And she's more of a docile breed, so she's going to just move away because she understands her place in this flock. She understands the pecking order. And so she would just remove herself from a situation. That way she's not picked on or being bullied. But this turkey is doing the most. There's so much room here on this roost. But the shenanigans are still going on. But I'll let them be for the night because there's nothing that I've observed that I need to be concerned about. They'll eventually figure it all out. Now this is the following morning and before I let the girls out in the outdoor run, I'm just placing a layer of leaves in here which would assist with the amount of mess that's going to be made by these chickens because they would come out here and walk in the mud and then get into the nest box with their muddy feet to lay their eggs and I want to keep it as clean as I possibly can. I know it's going to be a little bit messy on days like these, but it's not going to be as messy. And we're not getting any rain today, so this is going to dry off a little bit with the sun. It's going to be a bit windy though, and hopefully that helps dry off the moisture in the outdoor run a bit. So here they are. Good morning, girls. Look at them. Curious, because the leaves are now new to them this morning. Notice how they are hesitant a little bit to come out here in these leaves. But there are bugs in here. There are worms in here. And these were just leaves that I had in a pile just sitting in the open. So the bugs did get into them. When I was raking it up, I realized there was so much bugs in there. So the chickens are enjoying it. They get to have some leaves to scratch around in and eat the tasty treats that they find in there. This material 
is also going to be composted at some point and we have the greens in there which is the hay which is nitrogen and also the chicken poop and we have the browns which are the leaves which is the carbon and we have the moisture from the rainwater and so the chickens will assist in breaking this down by scratching around in it. We already got a couple early birds in here laying their eggs and another one back here and what I do is I do a head count on my birds when I come out to observe them when I come to let them out in the outdoor run because you just never know we just want to make sure that we don't have any predators around because they're a lot of the times they're out free ranging or in the outdoor run and so I check often enough to make sure that nothing goes unnoticed and that my flock remains safe at all times. So this is just simply a view of how I observe my flock, how I take care of them, spending time with them, putting in the work to keep them happy and healthy, producing tasty eggs for my family. If you find interest in my content but not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Hit the notification bell, selecting all so you can get alerts of, of all my newly released videos. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time right here on Fifi's Urban Homestead and Lifestyle.